Right now, John's going through the law. See, that's how he communicates with the vessel. This is the OIM! This is PP101. Hello, this is a test. Testing 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. Hello, everybody. I am Vish. And we are currently on board PP101, also known as Icon Karen. Right now, we are in a rig move from Benum 2 to Labuan. So, this video is just about the day to day. It's a vlog of what goes on on the rig. I'm right now in the meeting room, which is also called the conference room. This is how it looks. Woo! Basically, every morning, everyone sits down on this round table, all the big bosses, and go through what they do for the day. And then we've also got a huge TV over here, which we do conference calls in. Cool enough. Now, let's start walking. First boss. Oh, it's this button, I guess. Ah, it flipped. At last. This is the OIM. This is Robbie. He's the boss man on the rig. AKA also, safety manager. You got anything better to do? No, I do not. We are rig moving, Robbie. Come on. Huh? Show some love. Say oh, hi. No love. Say hi. Say hi. Huh? Say hi. Bye. Okay. Robbie does not like us. Let's leave the room. Boss man. No. Say bye at least now. Bye. See, he said bye. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, now. A lot of times, people ask how we stay on the rig, what we do, what do we do in our free time? Well, for y'all that ask that question a lot, this is how our room looks like. Bunk mitch. So, two people stay in a room. We've got a window here for daylight and we've also got a TV which we have Astro in. Alright. And then, this is where we shower. Woo! Yes. We do not live like nomads, like how people think we do. We live quite a good life out here. I would say. It's quite fun. Alright, we're done with the room tour. Now, jang, jang, jang. That's how the rig looks like. We are on level 3 right now. We've got a total of 4 levels. So that's my room right over here <laughs> and uh, let's head out to the master area. Ah, this is our room boy. Wait, jump, 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 jump. Yeah, say hello. Hello. Let's go to the master area, people. All right, here we are. There you go. So this is the master area. That's our radio operator, Ryan. All right. Over to Labuan Express now. Where Hello, we guys. Are? This is my rig. Our rig. Our rig. <laughs> PP101. We are currently rig moving, like I said earlier, right? So the way we rig move is a vessel tows our rig to go to a specific point. All right. So that's the vessel. You see that, and then it has a wire underneath there that pulls us. You see that? That's the tow rider. All right and it is connected to our rig that's the chain over there so basically the vessel is pulling us to go to a specific location all right now master area this is the master area behind me okay in the event of an emergency this is our primary master station this is where we queue up you see those red dots the yellow dots on the ground over there that's where we stand and then if it comes down to it when we have a drill or we have a real emergency situation that's the lifeboat we get in. We've got a total of three lifeboats. Hold on, there's a paging coming. Yeah, alright. So, we have got a total of three lifeboats, alright, and one lifeboat can fit 75 people. Our maximum people on board at any given time is 150 people. So, we've got one extra lifeboat as a redundancy in case either one of them you can't reach. The one that you heard earlier, that sound, that's the paging system on the rig. So, how we communicate with people is via these phones. There you go. So these are the phones that you talk to everyone on the rig about. This is the directory that's over here. All right. So you make a page. You make a page for the person you want to talk to. Like just now you heard that guy. And then you pick up the phone and like, hello, hello. Yeah, exactly. Now let's go to the control room, which is on level four. Because we're rig moving, right? The control room should be manned at all times. Okay. Now we are in the control room. Let me show you around. There you go. That's the jacking station. This is the control room and that's our barge captain, John. So, he is basically responsible for the entire rig move operation. 
He controls everything that goes on in the control room. He communicates with Ryan, our rig mover, to make sure the rig reaches the place safely. Everything done on board is done safely. All that. So, jacking system. There you go. As you can see, we've got three legs. That's the port leg. That's the starboard leg. And that's the forward leg, the bow leg, right? So, we've got three legs on the rig. And this is how we control all those three legs. See? There is an up movement and a down movement. And that's how you control the legs. Jacking console and this is usually where I stand and I keep the logs. Right now, John's going through the logs and he's logging down the watertight integrity. See how it works is because we are rig moving, right? So the rig is in the water at the moment. So every three hours, the rig crew will go around to check all the tanks to make sure there's no water in there. Because if there's water, then the rig will start going down more and more. That's the brief history on watertight integrity. These are all the tanks here. Hold on. There you go. Now this is the VMS system, Vessel Management System, alright? From here, we can see all the tanks, the engines that are running, the levels that are in the tank, we can control the valves and all that. So these are all the tanks, this is the engine, as you can see we've got 5 engines, right now we've got only 2 running. These are all the tanks, right? Level summary of the tanks. So you can see how much of water is in each of these tanks, how much of fuel we have, how much of pot water. So pot water is clean water, alright? That's the water that we bathe with, we brush our teeth with. That's the pot water and that is portable water basically. Phone's ringing, control room, control, you control always ringing. have to answer. Yes. Yes, go ahead. John the man working at the moment. Okay. Cool? Cool. Let's go to the radio room. Bye. Hello. We are in the radio room. And we meet Brian again. That's Brian and that's our ET, electronic technician. So. He's basically the Wi-Fi guy on the rig, right? Nicknamed the Wi-Fi because ET, IT, same thing. He's in charge of all the electronic stuff that's on the rig. Our radio operator. So this is the radio room, right? This is the main communication room for the entire rig. And this is the GMDSS console, all right? This is where he sits. That's his computer. That's how he communicates with the world. He's got four different phones over here. So basically the radio operator is the one that's in charge of communicating with the vessel, with everyone that's on shore. The radio operator is basically the one that communicates with the vessel, with shore people to make sure that they know where our location is. Especially right now during rig move, people need to know where we are. We've got no satellite, we've got no communication at the moment. We've got no internet, that's the best part about it. That's yeah. Ryan, Brian working. Uh, See, that's how he communicates with the vessel. You know the tow vessel we saw earlier? He's talking to them right now via radio. Radio is the correct term for what we would call as walkie-talkie right walkie-talkie in marine terms are radios okay now after this i will see you at the heli deck now we are in the heli deck there you go the heli deck is where the helicopter lands on the rig so because we are rig moving right now you see this thing that's the heli deck net to make sure the helicopter can land with extra friction on board just due to the fact that we are moving and we may experience severe weather. So, let me give you a frontal view of how the rig looks like here. Yeah? Three, two, one. Ta-da! That's PP101, guys. All right. Let me flip the camera and give you all a better look. There you go. So, you've got three legs, like I said earlier. The bow leg, the starboard leg, and the port leg. At the back of the bow leg, the one you see the structure over there, that's the derrick. That's where the drilling operations go on. These two are the cranes, as you can see, one on the starboard side, one on the port side. And then there is another crane hiding right behind there. You see that crane? Yeah, that's the port aft crane. That's the crane that helps the rig floor. I think everyone understands what the helideck is. Helicopter lands here. Kind of fun to see when a helicopter actually lands because that's a sight to see. Alright, now, let's see. Where are we going next? Uh, let's go to the galley. I'm feeling hungry. Let's see what they're cooking right now. So, now, in between going to the galley, right, I just bumped into Ryan. If you all don't know who Ryan is, that's Ryan, right? Like this. And like this. Ah. Ah. That's handsome Ryan. Oh, thank you. All right. He's basically the owner of Ace Rick Move. So, you know, be nice to him, all right? <laughs> Money man. Now, let's go to the galley again. Oh, shit. Let's go to the galley again. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, the galley is where they cook the food. The mess room is where we sit down and eat. Uh, like I said, we've got four levels on this rig. The master area, the one we were in, we was in level three. 
the control room which we were in earlier was in level 4 so now let's go down and head down to level 1 where the galley is this is the galley see this is where we sit and we eat all right right now we've got crews waiting to get food say hi that's robson that's iris the derrick man robson the ad so they are waiting to get food because the galley opens at 11 o'clock they're going on shift at 12 and they just want to get food before they head out for work now let's go to the galley where they cook the food jeng, jeng. there you go so that's the food prepared for us at the moment this is how we cook and that's the cam boss. you see him running away ah we catch him again oh the cam boss is hiding see? hi uh, ini Geli, saya Ken Bos Aman daripada PP1 M1 ataupun Ekon Karen sekarang ni. So kita preparation untuk food adalah di sini untuk kita masak segala apa yang ada dekat sini. Ini dinamakan hot plate untuk kita masak dan yang ni bemeri di mana kita akan letakkan uh, semua food yang telah dimasak tu. Lepas tu kita akan hidangkan kepada klien uh, kita lah dan yang ni adalah preparation food yang kita telah sediakan. Masak apa kemot? Apa menu? Okay, uh, menu hari ini. Uh, kita ada kerang sambal lepas tu ikan goreng lepas tu ikan tongko goreng bersambal lepas tu uh, itik panggang yang ni sayur kacang tong yang gong okay and then uh, yang ni roasted beef right brokoli dengan baked potato thank you ke boss wow wait you welcome hey peace Okay, saya kenalkan saya punya cook. Oh, cook. Alright, let's go. Okay. Hi, this is my cook. Yeah. Nama dia Stevin. Okay, dia still single. Still single. Ah, still single. Alright. Alright. So dia dia prepare untuk Western food lah. Alright. So saya untuk Asian cook untuk hari ini. Dan yang ni untuk kita preparation untuk BBQ petang nanti. Yeah, ekon keran. An, yang ni kita punya handsome guy adalah baker, baker PP1 A1 number one. Gitu. Check out that food. Looks like Campbell's has cooked the spread for us, right? And then the best part about it is today in the evening we have a barbecue. We'll bring you for that later. Sunday, say hi. Hi. That Sunday, that's the deck for men. Like I said, they're all going on shift at 12 p.m. It's 10:40 right now, so. Getting food before work. Now, where shall we go? I think it's better that we head outside. So, the rules of getting outside is that you've got to wear full PPE, right? Personal protective equipment. Let's change into that, I guess. Three, two, one. Right, full PPE, all done. Let's go outside. So, like I said, PPE, helmet, safety glass, earplugs, coveralls, safety boots. Now, let's go outside. All right, so like I said, right now we are rig moving, right? And during rig move, it's actually quite a sight because we are quite close to the water and it's very, 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 very calming to look at. As you can see, that's how our view looks. Uh, this is our FRC, fast rescue craft, right? And that's the rig. Let's go down now. Now, we are at the main deck level. So, let's walk around. And, the first thing you guys can see when you come down here would be smoking area. So, this is our crew. Hi. 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 Right now, we are on the main deck level. Okay. Let's head down to the warehouse first. Let me show you what's in there. And then maybe we'll go to the engine room. So basically, to go down into the lower hull, we've got to open this door. These are the watertight doors. And right now, because we are in quick, it has to be kept closed at all times. Okay? These doors are actually quite heavy. So we open them by turning the door. Then we walk into here. Now we are in the lower hull section. This is basically the belly of the rig, right? Now let's go to the warehouse. The 
the warehouse is basically where we store all our goods for the bricks. All the spare parts, all the equipment, all the PPE, extra PPE, everything is stored in the warehouse. So, this is the warehouse. Let's go in. Jang, jang, jang. That is Anthony. Anthony is the materials man on the rig. Anthony's job is to make sure that all the spares that arrive on the rig are accounted for. Everything that's in the warehouse is taken care of. So, it's all his responsibility for the spares, right? Now, this is how the warehouse looks. At the moment, because we are rig moving, so everything is netted and tied down, okay? Just to make sure that nothing is loose, so that if we do move around when the rig is moving, we do have pitch and heave and all that, the parts that are in the warehouse do not come loose and fall down. It's quite interesting actually, you'll find a lot of buried treasure in here. Spares that you've never seen, small, small things, small screws, up until big, big pistons are all kept in here. Even our printer ink is kept in here, if you look at here. There you see, those are all our printer inks. So, if you want a printer ink, meet Anthony. He's the warehouse man, also known as the materials man on the rig. We finished the warehouse, now we go to the engine room. So, to go to the engine room, we've got to pass through a few other rooms first. That's the warehouse aisle, alright? I just opened the watertight door, this is the cement side, right? So, now we've got to close the watertight door, because those are the rooms of the rig. So, this is the cement silo. Another watertight door. So, basically, everything on the rig is about safety. You can only touch the green side of the handles, you're not allowed to touch it. Because then you can have a pinch point within the gear mechanism. So, the way you open it is by turning the lock, the wheel, and it unlocks the door locks. And then you got to push it very, very, very slowly. Because if you want to push the other person's door, so if there's another person, then maybe it's fine. Close the door. Now we are in the electrical workshop, it's right beside the engine room. It's a bit more quieter in here. So let's talk about the main engines, right? The main generators for the rig. Those generators that you saw out there, we've got five of those. Those are the ones that give power for electricity for the whole rig. All the lights that you see, all the electrical appliances, the electronic stuff, everything, all the power comes from the main engines right over there. So basically they burn diesel fuel and convert it into electrical energy and it gets discharged out as electrical energy for the rest of the rig. Right now, we finished the lower hull. There are actually uh, quite a few more rooms in the lower hull, the machinery room, the pump room, the tech room and all those. But those are all just mostly relevant for building operations. So now we are going back to the main deck level. And uh, let me show you how the lake looks, because this is the time we can change the lakes. Preparing, right? The lakes are fully refracted out. So now, it's meant. Let me close the door first. I am very lucky. Something walking up and down the stairs is actually quite tiring. That's why you see most of the people are quite fit. Alright, so now we are at the lake area. This is the bow lake. Aha, there you see it. This is the bow lake. And this, the one that you see down here, let me give you a better view. Yep, as you can see, that's the spot can. That's the bottom of the lake, that's the base of the lake basically. And that's the one that gives us the footing, the one that goes into the ground, into the soil, and lets us come out of water. Because we are a jack-up rig, spot cans are very important. Basically, that's pretty much it for the rig tour. The rest of the rig just basically comprises of the drilling package, which I believe you can see in many other videos. Um, other than that, 
cheers have fun now let's walk around and get some bloopers with everybody hi hi back in my room just changed let's walk around and see what everyone's doing on the rig and here we have the rms huzaidi kong the chief electrician and again mr wifi tarmizi Hi, I'm Vish and this is PP101. Wee! Okay, okay, okay.